Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up, y'all? This is just a quick tip. This is something that I do with all of my sculpts. And I just want to show you, it's like a little, uh, it's not really a secret, but I don't know how many people actually do this. Uh, and I do it all the time. So if you look at this, these little horns up here, you can see that I add some paint. I add some darker paint to the bottom where it comes into contact, where the horn would be growing out of. And then I just smooth it out. And you can see uh, those little details on all of my sculpts. And it just gives your sculpts the extra detailing to just make it look re really cool and really pop. And you might not notice it unless you know about it. So for example, the teeth, I do the same thing with the teeth. So I'm gonna hide this layer and undo this layer. So you can see as I hide and bring back the teeth, it just adds a little bit of, uh, not really texture, but it just adds something to the teeth so that it's not so perfect. It's great if you want things to be perfect, but it's an easy way to just add a little detail. So I'm gonna show you how I do that really quick. So I'm gonna turn that layer off and just add a new layer. And it's really simple. Uh, first, I'm just gonna click on the teeth and I'm gonna hit lock down here. I'm hitting lock so that if I touch something else by accident, I don't always constantly have to be going back to the teeth. And that's really good for when you have something and there's a lot of things around it that you wanna be turning and moving uh, so you don't go off uh, the mesh that you wanna work on. So let's just use paint. And now I'm gonna tap this sphere here so I can get the color. I'm gonna tap the little eyedropper and then I'm gonna tap the tooth. So that's the tooth color. So we wanna to stick to the tooth color and the tooth uh, texture and everything just so it stays the same. That's why I use the eyedropper. So now I just wanna make it darker but since it's a tooth, we want to make it sort of the in the beige-ish beige -ish range, something like that, almost like he drinks too much coffee or something. So we want to just bring that down. And now we have our color. So now all we have to do is use the paint. And you notice I added a new layer. I don't know if I made mention of that. So I added a new layer here. That way, if I want to get rid of it, I can. So we have the new layer. Let's call it uh, teeth darker so now we have that new layer so I'll just take the paint and I'll just paint above here like this something like that maybe I'll bring it around a little bit more so that's all I'm basically doing is just making it darker on the top and you can experiment with different things sometimes you might want to make it even a little bit more darker and just add it really dark at the top, you know, things like that. So it depends on your character, it depends on how you want it to look. So now you can use Smoothie Poo. It's so funny that I named it that. It's basically the smooth tool with the intensity all the way down. Uh, you can clone the tool, so all I did was clone this. I hit clone uh, and it shows up down there and then you just um, lower the intensity and then save it and it'll just, you know, it'll save. So you can clone most of these tools and you can adjust them however you want and then you can just save them. And you can name them uh, funny things. So I'm gonna use Smoothie Poo, which is smooth with zero intensity. And then I'm just gonna smooth this like that. You smooth it and it kind of blends it in. Now, if yours isn't blending, one thing that you have to know is that it'll only blend if it's not super, uh, oh, what's the, what's the term? I'm forgetting the term since I've been on vacation. Uh, it can't be super dense, so it means the mesh can't be very high. Right now it's 27.6K. Uh, you know, if it was like 100 or 200, it might not smooth that well. So you might have to, if you're doing teeth, like if it was higher, I would have to just go here, uh, miscellaneous, and then decimate it to bring the number down. And then you can smooth it. If it's too high, it won't smooth. Uh, the number has to be kind of low for it to be able to smooth. So you just do something like this. And then it adds that nice uh, darkness to the top of the teeth. And I think it really makes a difference. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm gonna delete this layer because I already have one made. And also I do that on all my characters. You can see I do it where these go into the skin. I do it on the fold of the skin. Um, so I do it a lot of places just to give it that little extra detail, which I think makes the artwork really pop. So I'm always paying attention to little details like that. Uh, you should too. Uh, they're kind of fun. They make a big difference. Uh, you might not notice it unless you notice, and now you'll notice it forever. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate, 
and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.